<laughs> oh, you did not just try to run a trace on me. All right. Take that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope you backed on that, sir. What? Oh, yeah. Hold on a sec. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> what? Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnip. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? The crazy boy. I've been following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all of the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. Yeah, he knows why you're here. LaCroix must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with a gear. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. Go ahead. Me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep it close on the street, and at the same time, I'm supposed to... <laughs> Not nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix... Yeah, yeah you, you do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way. Make it worth your while. I got access to... Well, I, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know. Go ahead. Me? Before all this, I was a hacker. Good one, too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Telcos, DOD. But one day I went across the system. Oh, totally dark. Unbelievable security. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on... It was, uh, uh, Nosferatu database. Not even a really important one, either. Which was probably the only reason I cracked it. I dug around for a while, got totally freaked out, and I unplugged. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love the shit. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to win any beauty contests, but I wasn't too good looking before anyway. I can't believe she got the cover of Glamorella this month. I mean, just look at her. Too fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene, she'd still be a fluff girl at Vivisection, making ten bucks a st Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. Do you know she got model of the year? Before I got here, she would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques. Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Imalia. Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot, and I knew. I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. 
I want to ruin her name in the business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think... Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss top. I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sh Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into her computer using the password Cleopatra. Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. The clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh oh, you might have picked up one of those psychoses so common. We are talking. But you aren't listening, boss. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your feet... <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Because I like the sound of my own voice. It's not every day we get visitors, boss. I needed to hear it from you. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the... Careful what you wish for. You just might get behind you, boss. Boo! What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. A little before your time, eh, boss? Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shamisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but... I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss... I'm not one to waste words like Little Lord Flaunt LaCroix up there. There's a connection. Want to hear it? Listen, I think I hear someone saying something about... The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. 
Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. Gee, that's original. You think that up all by yourself? You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. Hey, save yourself some time, boss. You've got no bargaining power. I know Prince Pris is breathing down your neck every second you keep him from the Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kuei Jin. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Let's see what I got. Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in... Evening. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have... Evening. Here. And thanks again for your help earlier. And remember what I told you about LaCroix. You're good, kid.
Los Angeles. The body of Sean Milton, a former convict that was recently released for good behavior, was found butchered, similarly to the other victims of the serial killer. Police believe there may be a connection between Milton's prison past and the slasher. We'll have a full report on this story later tonight. Simon Milligan, host of local cable show Haunted LA, and his crew are reported missing tonight. The team of the popular Supernatural-themed program were filming around downtown Los Angeles, according to the show's producer. But friends and family of the crew started to worry when they failed to return from a night of shooting. No trace has been found yet of the Haunted LA team, and rumors by the show's fans speculate the crew met a supernatural end though police disagree and have started a sweep of the Here areas where the crew was filming. Another victim of the Southland slasher was found inside the Lucky Star Motel in Hollywood this evening, the fifth attributed to the killer. Police say that there is ample evidence that the slasher was interrupted during the murder. And pol- $1,000. Concerned parent groups joined several senators on the step of Capitol Hill to protest the latest wave of violent video games. Senator Limperman called the games pornography and was offended by crude shots taken at him by one recent game. Among the titles the group is trying to get banned from stores are Mangle Garden, Rape and Pillage, and Abe Lincoln Teaches Killing. Protesters say that extended media attention towards exploitive games such as Meth Tycoon promotes parental awareness of their adult content and lessens children's interest in the taboo-themed games. Religious tourists have been flocking in droves to the Santa Maria Church in Santiago, Spain, after several pilgrims claim to have seen statues of the Madonna begin crying blood. The site dates back to the period of the Romans and has several reported weeping virgin sightings throughout its history. One pilgrim reported that they witnessed blood coming from no less than six statues at a the papers she killed herself can you believe it after the story hit the tabloids she swallowed half a bottle of valium and washed it down with a fifth of gin (laughs) 
Here, you definitely earned it. my good side, then don't come back here until you've got last year's copy of Guy magazine where I'm on the cover. You know, the one where I was wearing the gum wrapper and the two bob... What can I do for you, Slick? What can I do for you, Slick? Yeah? What do you want to know? Sure, pal. You want this month's issue? Tawny Sessions is on the cover wearing nothing. I'm sure you do. Everyone wants a copy of that. She went missing last year and no one knows. I don't know. Nanny Malia was quite a piece of rump roast. I never wanted to be a gum wrapper more in my whole <laughs> Here you go. I'm sure. Huh? They are. Oh, man, that's uh, weird. I, I don't know how that could have happened. Someone must have... Uh...
You did? Oh my god! I can't believe you found it! I've been trying to get a copy of that for years! Well, yeah, I guess. It's against my better judgment, but I guess I'll give you a little something for the effort. Take this. Nice night out, huh? What do you, do you want? No, 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 no. Please, I, I, I don't, 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 I'm so, so sorry. Please, please. I... No, 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 oh God, God. Please, find your heart! Please, find your heart! You, you, you could let me go? I, I promise, I, I, I would leave Los Angeles. Thomas, please, p p p p find your heart. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you.
touch me, right? in. Look who's back. Couldn't stay away, could you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I suppose I should just tear it up. But... Thanks. Are they? I mean, did you? It must have been difficult. Take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't. Can't you tell? I simply adore you. You're so sweet to me. The way you protect me. What would I have done had you never come in here? Oh, why can't they all be like you? The world could be so, so beautiful.